guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons. This is the second video we're doing that shows you how to set up a brand new document template in Scribus. So in the last video, we, we configured our document, some of the, the properties of the document, and we created uh, colors and topography styles or text styles. So now we want to do some layout of some content boxes and uh, add some some sample content so we can see how this is going to look and we may end up changing some fonts too but we'll see how that goes so this is the box you use to lay out your uh, this is the little the tool you use to lay out your text boxes so I'm gonna grab one where we need one for the title so I'm gonna drag it roughly close to what I need there and then just pull up the properties box and we'll leave this properties dialog box up for a while now as we're working on this and um, I did a pretty good job here, but I want this to be an even inch, so I'm going to make that two, two, and I always give it a name. So I'm going to call this uh, text uh, main title, and then I always do the page number. This is page one, so zero one. Okay, and then I, I think I'm going to do a two column layout on this. So we'll grab a we'll grab our layout tool again. I'm gonna grab two roughly, roughly equal width. We're gonna make two roughly equal width boxes. So I'm gonna make this 2.5 inches wide. Oh, uh, that's the Y position, sorry. So it looks like three and a half is gonna be a good width. And height uh, looks pretty good. We'll go, we'll try seven inches. We may have to tweak these a little bit. And actually you can see I just, uh, um, I, I lost my gap here between my title, but it might look okay with the baseline grid, so for now I'm going to leave it. You won't see these borders of these frames, by the way, when you produce your PDF. And we'll call this uh, text. Um, text left column is what I'm going to call that. I said um again, didn't I? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to just cop, uh, right-click us on this and say copy. Right-click again and say paste. Okay, so it just dropped in that other box, and then I can drag drag it pretty close, and I won't have to change very much, but I will have to change the name. So this is going to be the text right column. And I actually need to add the page number. I forgot to do that on the other one. So let's click over here and add that page number. All right, and then I think I just got one more. I'm not going to do an image frame on this one, I don't think. I think I'm going to I'm going to skip the image. So we'll drag this down here. This is going to be for our footer. So we'll call it text footer 01 for the page number. And uh, All right, that all looks pretty good. Now let's go ahead and we'll start laying out some content. So to do that, I'm going to right click on the, the first text frame, the title frame, and we're going to say edit text with story editor. And I'm going to type in the name of the article here, which is, I got to remember the name of the article we're laying out. Okay, so the title of this article is Don't Allow a New Project Manager to Fail on a Complex Project because, and I'm going to actually do this on another line here, this subtitle, because you withhold support. Okay, now this is really important over here. We want to set this these uh, paragraph styles. So I'm going to do that main title, uh, that first line in main title, and then we're going to try a body bold, and we may tweak that. So let's see how that looks. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm afraid this uh, this font I got here is, is not going to be a good, good title font because it just looks like it's too thin. But let's try something. Yeah, it just looks, it's, it looks too thin. So we're going to try a, we're going to try a different, uh, font there 
Sometimes you just got to test things. You just don't know sometimes when you work with new fonts. So let's go to main title and let's see. There's another font I like. Let's see if I've got it installed on this computer. I don't have it, but I like oop, I like this uh, font somatic. Let's try that. Okay, that looks a little better. Um, I'd like to have not as big of a gap there, which means I got to get that under 16. Or under 18. That looks a little better. So I'll have to give that some thought. I don't know if that title uh, that title may uh, that title may not be big enough, but for now I'm going to leave it. All right. So as soon as I look at this, I can see well, that might that might be too much space for the title. But uh, we're, so we're going to add a couple things here. So we're going to say uh, we'll put the date. So today is uh, June 8th. 2018 and the articles by Landon Blake and uh, we're gonna try this uh, we're gonna do the body light style we'll see how that looks okay so that looks pretty good and I'm okay with this gap here because I don't I don't want this body text punching up right against this Okay, so let's uh, lay in some body text, and I and I realize now I'm missing a subheading font, but we'll deal we'll do a, a subheading style, but we'll deal with that in a minute. Let's just go ahead and get some body text in here. Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and add our footer. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to say uh, this is going to be page one of X, and I'm going to just put my website address in here. And the style we're going to pick is footer right, since we're in the footer. So you can see those are dropping in there. It looks good. <clears throat> All right, so let's get our body content. i got to find that real quick. All right, so you guys can see I've got the content for this article laid out in a Word doc. So I'm going to grab the... Uh, Grab the first, just first bit of body text. Actually, I'm going to grab all the body text, and I'll show you why. We're going to end up linking text frames on here. So I'm just going to grab all the body text, and I'm going to right-click on this. Say edit with text editor, and we're going to paste it in. Now I'm going to highlight it all, and over here I'm going to grab, this is a global uh, paragraph style setting, and I'm going to just set that all to body regular for now, and hit apply. Now you can see it's not jumping across here because we haven't, link the text frames and that's alright. Um, now it feels to me like this font might be a little uh, little too big uh, which makes it easier for people with bad eyesight but I might shrink that a little bit so let's go into our styles and we'll go to uh, body regular and I'm gonna uh, jump that down to 10 point and apply it and and I may I run a physical print of this to see if that font's too small yeah, actually it looks too small so we'll leave it we'll leave it at 12 for now okay but I, I, I realized I don't have a good subheading font so we're gonna do it uh, we're gonna clone this character style for a subheading font and we're gonna call it uh, subheading and we're gonna t uh, Select this black, and we're going to make this uh, 16. Should still fit in our baseline grid. Okay, and we need a new paragraph style too, so we'll take, uh, we'll clone this body bold, and uh, we'll call this subheading. And I am going to give that a color. I'm actually going to go with this dark green, just to mix things up just a little. All right, so now I'm going to right-click on the story. By the way, you can double-click in here and edit the text. So I need to change this a little bit. I'm going to say in this article, I share lessons as a project manager. Okay, and then I'm going to open up this uh, story editor uh, because I'm going to add an introduction here as a subheading. 
and then we're going to set that to the subheading style. And I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to click. If you don't click right here, when you reset it, it jumps you back up to the top. So I'm just going to click in here and say subheading. And that should add a little color and variety to our document, I hope. So, ah, <laughs> it made the whole thing green. That's not what we wanted. <laughs> so let's go in and fix that style. How did I manage to do that? Let's edit it with the text editor again. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Let's go into our styles. Um, hmm. Yeah. Oh, because this is a paragraph style, I set the color on. So we'll set that to none. My bad. You got to set the color on your character style. So pardon me for that mistake. We'll say I'll be dark green. Apply. I don't know why that's not catching now. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe that dark green, it just looks black. Let's try a different color. Let's try our uh, light blue. We ought to be able to see that. Yeah, it's not grabbing this color for some reason. Hmm. Well, I'm going to set it for dark green now. And we may, uh, we may find that fixes when we reopen the doc. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to link this text frame so that the text just flows across. So it's this little tool right here, link text frames. We're just going to click on that and tell it this text frame is active. So we're just going to click on the next frame and you can see it automatically kicks the text over there. Um, the other thing I want to do is um, I'm going to add a little spacing here on these numbered lists so they're not so hard to read. And I actually undid that, so let me redo it. And we'll do the same thing here, just give us a little more spacing. All right, that looks pretty good so far. I'm going to go ahead and save that now. I'm going to show you now that the title page usually has a unique layout because we got to make room for the title. So um, we're going to add a we're going to add a few pages. So I'm going to, um, if I can remember how to do this, page, copy, and we're going to move it to the end, one copy. Okay, so here's the, the, the body page. Now I can get rid of this title, and we can move these up. So instead of having the Y position at 2.5, I'm going to put it at 0 0.5 so it moves up. Same thing with this one. And this we're going to, um, we can make longer now. Um, I'm actually going to make it 9 inches so it runs into the footer there. Um, and I would do that here, but I, actually I'm going to make room for a uh, block quote. And I just got to decide, do I want the block, quote at the block quote at the top or the bottom? I guess it's fine. We're going to leave it here. We'll add a text, text box for a block quote, and we need to add a block quote style, so we'll do that in a minute. So let's go ahead and add that. So we'll grab the, the text box tool and we'll drag it in here. Okay, and I'm going to call this, name this text block, or sorry, text block quote. This is page two, so I'm going to do two. Okay, and while I'm thinking about that, let's come down here and make this page two of X so we don't forget. All right, now the other thing we need to do here, uh, I don't like that Y value either. Let's make it 7.5 and the height two. Okay, now the other thing I need to do here is uh, we need to rename these. So when you copy the page there, it just copies the name of the boxes, and we don't. And you don't have to do this. I'm just a little bit anal, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. We need to do that for the footer too. So I'm just getting rid of the copy of auto text and adding the current page number. Okay, and I notice this looks like I got name wrong. We'll get rid of that D there on page one. Okay, now you see because we copied the page, um, it's restarting the text there. That's not really what we want. So we're going to edit the, the, this text, and we're just going to delete all this text and hit the check mark. And now we're going to link the frames again. So we're going to link. You can link across pages, which you just saw there. 
Okay, now we're, we're going to go in and make a block quote style and add a block quote here, and then we'll, we'll probably wrap this video up. So we're going to come down, we'll make a new character style. And I'm going to call it uh, block quote. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the, uh, the title font again, just somatic. And we're going to make that 14 and we're going to give it a color. That uh, light green I'm probably not going to be able to use for much here, but we'll go with that primary blue. We'll apply that. We'll make a new paragraph style. Use the same name, block quote. Um, and we want to make sure we set that to align to baseline grid. We're going to keep it less left justified, but we want to select that block quote. Actually, you know what? I want these uh, center justified on the block quotes, I think. So we'll hit center justify and hit apply. Okay, and so what we want to do now is we want to add our first block quote. So you guys can see how that looks. So we'll add it there in that box. So let me copy my first block quote here. So we'll just say edit text. Drop that in and we're going to say block quote and I'm going to put the quote marks in and we'll say save so there's the block quote I like it it looks good I think okay so just for kicks and giggles before we end the video we'll save this and run a PDF it's this button here oh sorry that's the that's to run your checks so it doesn't find any errors uh, the button we want for our PDF no it should be this one sorry uh, oh, it's telling me the text is overflowing here, and that's okay. I know that because I we haven't created all the pages, so I'm just going to say ignore errors. And I'm going to keep that same name. The other thing you want to do here is make sure your fonts are embedded. They are. We'll say save. And let's go pop that open and see how she looks. All right, so here's the article and as a PDF. Um, I like it. It looks good. Um, I do want to turn those subheadings green, so we'll try and do that. Um, but it's nice and clean and crisp. Uh, it's not cluttered. Um, I think it looks good. So I appreciate you guys watching. And um, there's an um again. Got to work on that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and this will help you uh, lay out a simple article template, two-column article template in Scribus. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks.